Hi, I'm Iris, an independent removable information system, upgraded to cognitive status C1 in 98. Let me introduce you to my human companion. His name is Eugene Zeno Wheeler, but everyone calls him easy. Well, all except me. Sometimes I call him honey or babe. He's a major in the U.S. Army, an astronaut, and a trained radical tactics expert. He's young, strong, smart, tough. The generals call him when they don't know what to do. He was wounded in battle during that space station rescue, remember? And his left eye is synthetic, like me. Right arm and hands, too. He can see in four different spectral ranges. Infrared, detect hidden enemy units. Green, direct digital perception of maps and readouts. Blue, spot electrical malfunctions and locate control systems. Ultraviolet, see, well, spooky stuff. Like ghosts, maybe? His arm works like a Swiss army knife. He's got room for a built-in handgun, a grappling hook, a taser, a torque wrench, a plasma cutter, a grenade launcher. Hey, you name it. <sighs> Isn't he cute? I'm not in love with him or anything, you understand. He just programmed me to say nice things. Where am I? South of the Ring Road, I think. Over the line, anyway. It's 5.30 a.m. This is the place. This was the center of battle, and it looks like this is where planet Earth has just won a war. Take a look at that hole. An LED ship the military has been calling Threat 2 went up in just a huge fireball about 30 minutes ago, right here in front of me. That means our first encounter with extraterrestrials is over. And what an encounter. All the suspense, attacks, tragic moments. But hey, everybody out there, this is victory. Excuse me, General. Radio transmission from Red Rock ended abruptly last night at 1900 hours. And we've not been able to raise the colony since that time. Did you try the big dish? Sightband service channels? Yes, sir. I was out at the transmitter myself. And? Well, sir, it looks like the LEDs have arrived on Mars. We don't know that. But I wouldn't bet against it. Better send someone to eyeball the situation pronto. Florida is already assembling a fast transfer vehicle. And not a damned servo bot. Someone alert and reliable. Right you are. We've identified a radical tactics expert, trained specifically for one-man operations. Okay, who's the asset? Major Eugene Zeno Wheeler, ex-Army Ranger, an astronaut. What about that eye? It's synthetic. Right hand, too. Our people do some great replacement work these days. For the love of God, what are you handing me? Some kind of tin man? Well... He did sustain injuries on Gamma Station while saving the crew. Hell of a rescue, sir. Silver Star. Where is he right now? Rehab. And you want to send him to Mars? He's a rad tech. A lone wolf, a warrior, a troubleshooter, a survivor. The best shot we've got. You mean he's a non-conforming, shoot-from-the-hip, out-of-control maniac? Yes, sir. That's what makes him good, sir. Hello, Wheeler. This is Wheeler. If you want my story, you gotta talk to my agent. General Stark here. I can't afford to bet on your glorious past. How about I help you write a new chapter out in Red Rock? Kind of you to think of me, General. But I've got thin blood, and it's cold on Mars. Looks like the LEDs have hit our colony. We've lost contact, there's a threat, we need an observer. I'm a seriously wounded man. Didn't they tell you? If the LEDs establish themselves, they could build factories place their losses, come back our way. To tell you the truth, sir, Mars scares the hell out of me. And it killed my grandfather. Ah, I forgot. Gusto Wheeler. First footprints back in 27. Brave man. Tough, too. What's your ranger name, son? Easy, right? And I thought you'd call this easy duty. Applied to join the colony, I'm told. That was years ago, and I was rejected. They said my personality was too aggressive. 
Under the circumstances, I'm sure they'll reconsider. You want the job or not? Well, Iris, you ready for a beach with a lot of red sand? You know I love the beach. Sorry I asked. thinking about Red Rock. Maybe you resubmit my application to join up. Right, now that you've become a model citizen. Supposing we let you stick around, what will we do with you? I could be a cop. War's over. We don't have any crime, remember? I'm pretty good technically. I could be a repairman. Keep everything in working order. You'd be bored out of your skull within a week. It's kind of cold here. I could keep your bed warm. Well now, that is a thought. I know. I'll become a gardener and raise flowers.
Eugene? Major Wheeler, what are you doing? Heading for that radio transmission. The nearest landing strip is a thousand clicks east. You're going to kill us! You're not even alive, so calm down. Go ahead, break my heart. Just watch your airspeed. <laughs> 